Yeah, a very uh, high speed pursuit, uh, crazy pursuit here that started down in San Pedro. This is a robbery suspect that came out of San Pedro up the 110 freeway, then exited uh, eastbound on 223rd Street. He made his way around the community of Wilmington, stayed off the freeway, was circling the neighborhood like he knew uh, the neighborhood quite well. He decided to get back onto a freeway. He took Alameda up to the 91, got on the 91 freeway. We're in Compton now, and he's moving at a high rate of speed eastbound on the 91 freeway now approaching the 710. Again, this is a robbery suspect, uh, different than a burglary suspect. When you have a robbery suspect, that means uh, that the suspect uh, took personal property in the presence of another with physical violence, force, or fear. So it's possible that this individual being described as a male Hispanic could also be armed at this time. He's moving at about 80, 85 miles an hour using the carpool lane on the far left lane. Looking up ahead, the traffic does get a bit heavier. This is the eastbound side of the 91. He just crossed over the 710 freeway, now in North Long Beach. And because this is in the harbor area in San Pedro, it was the Los Angeles Police Department that first initiated this pursuit. They are the lead agency. They will get help from the CHP now that it's back on the freeways. Other uh, agencies may uh, help out as well. Again, a solo occupant being described as a male Hispanic being pursued by the Los Angeles Police Department at a very high rate of speed eastbound on the 91 through North Long Beach. Again, a robbery suspect. That is a dangerous uh, felony, a crime uh, that this uh, individual is wanted for. And you can see he's got a wide open carpool lane here, Bob and Marla. An armed robbery suspect at that. And, 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 that. and we did see some pictures earlier, Rick, as we were following this. This uh, robbery suspect in this SUV was going through the San Pedro area. It looked like it was uh, getting close to the Long Beach area. It was going on these city streets, on the, going the wrong way uh, on, on those streets, also go, going through some intersections. Extremely dangerous for the vehicles. Uh, it didn't appear from what we were seeing that uh, there were any accidents that were caused at this point. But now on the freeway here, we know as it approaches here, the, uh, the 5 freeway, that really busy area when it comes up to uh, the 605 and the 5 uh, interchange, it really starts to get a little slower in that area. But uh, uh, there, was a, there was a time where the Los Angeles Police Department pulled off uh, the pursuit just for a brief moment or two because of the fact that the driver was being so erratic. Uh, again, they do that at times and they track the pursuit from the air and it's Air 18, LAPD Air 18 that's watching this from above with us. So you can see a number of units trailing uh, this suspect here in this black vehicle eastbound on the 91. The next interchange will be the 605 heading out of North Long Beach into the Cerritos area. And we will see if he decides to make a transition to either the north or southbound side of the 605 or stay the course and continue eastbound on the 91. Again, he came out of San Pedro, likely near Gaffey Street, uh, C Street down there in the harbor area, part of the city of Los Angeles, the far southern part of the city of Los Angeles, hopped on the 110 freeway, and then he decided to exit at 223rd Street, and that's where he started driving erratically on those city streets through the Wilmington area, and essentially doing circles around the area, possibly because he was familiar with that area. We see that all too often with pursuits. Uh, these suspects like to go into areas that they're comfortable with. They feel that they have a better chance uh, of getting away, and this guy is really moving, trying to get away here. Eastbound side of the 91 through North Long Beach, now approaching the 605, and then entering the community of Cerritos. Primarily staying in the carpool in the far left lane or left two lanes. Well, up he's veering over to the right, so he may decide to make a transition or exit the freeway altogether. Looks like he's going to make a transition here, and he will have the uh, option of transitioning either north or south on the 605 from this transition road. If he stays to the left, he'll be going north. If he stays to the right, he's going to be going south, and he's staying to the right. So he's going to be heading southbound now on the 605 freeway. This is a single lane transition, and you can see he's getting a little agitated because he can't get around this vehicle in front of him, moving at a very high clip. Units are trailing. LAPD Air 18 uh, tracking from above. Southbound now on the 605 freeway from the 91, and he'll be heading back down towards the communities of uh, Hawaiian Gardens and Los Alamitos. High speed, you can see his uh, velocity in relation to the general traffic flow, which is 65 miles an hour here. Oh, he's uh, well exceeding that. So, Rick, we can only assume that the armed robbery itself happened in the San Pedro area where this pursuit began? Uh, that, that's, uh, that's what we're thinking, and I, I did not uh, hear, you guys may have more information than I do about what type of weapon was used, but again, when we're dealing with a robbery, that means that uh, personal property, something was taken in the presence of another individual, an innocent individual, and uh, either 
force, fear, physical violence was used in that. And whether or not uh, a weapon was used uh, in that robbery, uh, that's uh, unclear uh, at this time, unless you guys have confirmation of that. Southbound side of the 605 freeway here, coming out of Cerritos, down towards Los Alamitos. Traffic flow looks wide open here, all the way down back to the 405 freeway. This pursuit started at about 11.30, so we're over a half an hour now that this pursuit has been uh, happening starting in San Pedro by the Los Angeles Police Department. Rick, we're just seeing here that uh, this is not confirmed yet, but we understand this guy, this suspect, may be wanted for two, not one, but two armed robberies and was reportedly armed with a knife. A knife. So we are uh, working okay. to confirm that. Yeah, that's the information that we're getting from our, uh, our desk right now is that this uh, he is wanted for two armed robberies. Uh, we should tell you that this is a, a southbound on the 605 right now, going through the Cerritos area. Of course, as you go down uh, the 605, we're looking at uh, Lakewood and Los Alamitos. And as you said, uh, it's possible, Rick, that he could double back and return back to the Long Beach San Pedro area. Yeah, he'll have options. Again, the freeways, the 605 is wide open all the way down to the 405. And the 605 essentially starts and ends there at the 405. So he will either transition, if he stays on the freeway here, he'll either transition south on the 405, which will take him down towards Orange County, or back to the north on the 405 freeway through the communities of Long Beach, Wilmington, Carson, where he once was. So we'll see exactly what happens. But we do know at this time that he does have a wide open freeway. He's being tracked in the air by LAPD Air 18 and a number of units. Again, the initial agency, the lead agency was the Los Angeles Police Department because these uh, robberies now we're hearing possible, uh, unconfirmed too, uh, with a knife that this suspect used were in the San Pedro area, right off the 110 freeway, Gaffey Street. That's where we first heard the call. and. It, it first came in at around 11.30 this morning. So we're about 35 minutes uh, into this pursuit. And with each minute, uh, I always mention this, Bob and Marlo, with each minute this pursuit continues. Oh, wow, look at that. He just wow. cut across traffic, and he's making an exit. He is doing whatever he can to get away. And you wonder why they run, because they're not in custody and they want to get away. He knows uh, he's wanted for something and is likely facing a significant jail time. And if he can get away... <laughs> That's what he's trying to do here. So now on city streets again, and he is roaring east or westbound now. I'll try to get uh, the street for you here uh, off uh, into the Long Beach area. He's going to be heading uh, towards Long Beach Airport here in a westbound direction from the 605 freeway towards the Long Beach Airport. And look at him go. Okay, units have backed off a bit now again, and we saw this when he was in the Wilmington area because he's moving at such a high rate of speed and creating such a dangerous situation for all of these motors who have no idea. Well, look at this, what's coming mm -hmm. up. He's coming up into an intersection here and so he does not have the right of way. Let's see what he does. Pulling into a gas station. Wow, look at this. Uh, that was off of Studebaker and he got around that, making a right turn. Now was that Studebaker? I, I, it, it, From Studebaker, was it Spring, now on Spring Street. Spring Street. Spring, Spring Street, Street to, Studebaker, and, uh, to Studebaker. So that's near the, the Cerritos Studebaker. area. Uh, this is more in the uh, Long, Long, Beach. Long Beach area, Long Beach. actually. Yes. So now heading, uh, heading northbound. Again, real dangerous. I'm looking out the window here and I can see that the units, the ground units, uh, the squad cars have really pulled back, but they're watching him from above. LAPD Air 18 is still watching him, surveilling this situation from above. But you could see the danger. And as I was just mentioning, with every minute that this pursuit continues, there's a stronger likelihood that we could see something, uh, something dramatic, drastic happen. Uh, and so many times we've seen, and LAPD has had a number of situations like that. They're, where they've been involved in these pursuits, and they get to such an extreme speed. And we see these horrific accidents, and unfortunately, innocent people are either injured or killed. Northbound on Studebaker here, and this is more the east uh, side of Long Beach. He's backing uh, towards the north now, up towards the 91. But what a bold move, crossing over nearly oh, no. four lanes of traffic there. Oh. And uh, up, uh, up on the like curb a little bit there. Car. Yeah. And, uh, and this, uh, they want to bring this to an end. If they get an opportunity to perform the pit maneuver, the pursuit intervention uh, technique, that maneuver where they can spin him out and disable him, I know they're going to do that. Doing wow. a U-turn. Wow. Oh, there he goes again, traffic against here. traffic. Wow. Uh, now he's heading in a westerly direction in eastbound lanes, head on traffic. Whoa. Oh, oh. Narrowly missed that car. This, this, this guy is uh, this unbelievably is so out of control. So let's see what he does here. He's turning in on a surface street here. 
thankfully nobody was hit there. That was uh, that, that was that was something else. In the parking lot of a uh, uh, it looks like a little nine-hole golf course here uh, off of Studebaker. We'll try to get the uh, other street here for you. And let me see what he's doing here now. Is he on the sidewalk? Uh, I, yes, it I looks like he's on the sidewalk. Yeah, he, he clipped uh, off the sidewalk, now back on. Oh, there's now the black gonna go, and white. He's going to do a U-turn. And so, I'll tell so you what, if they, have a chance to, if they have a chance to pit him, he's heading sure. back in a westbound direction. They're going to do it. The more traffic up ahead here and uh, a lot of congestion. And he has another chance to use this left turn lane to get out to get out of this. Nope, he's going to continue in a westbound direction. The air support, LAPD, Air 18, is right on top of this. Now you can see units uh, have gotten right up against him uh, as well. Again, LAPD the lead because that's where the alleged crimes, possibly two robberies, took place in the right lane. Let's see what he does through this intersection against the red light. And so many people don't even know that this is happening and if you ever encounter anything like this i always try to uh, make these teachable moments as well give the officer space do not try to be a hero in any way because you could uh, make the situation worse and and you can endanger yourself the officers lives and other people's lives as well yeah, that, Rick, that uh, golf still, course by the way was is on carson street that's the hartwell golf course that they went through uh, and, and he is on carson street right now he's heading westbound on carson street and he'll be heading towards uh the Victoria Country Club uh, and the Long Beach Airport uh, here, uh, which we know well here in Sky Fox. So let's see what happens if there's a little bit of a open uh, road here, if they try to disable him and spin him out with that pursuit uh, intervention technique. Uh, he's backing off on his speed a little bit. He's coming up to a very busy intersection again uh, in which he does not have the right of way and all the lanes are clogged. So let's push in and see how he's gonna manipulate this situation in and out of traffic Oh, just slice. Look at wow. this. Oh, he is stopped there. He is. He's trapped. Yeah, he really he really is at this time. So now we're going to see if uh, if they can make a move. The officers can make a move and try to and block him in. But it's so difficult. You know, you said, uh, Marlon Bob, that uh, he possibly had a knife. Uh, you know, we don't know if he has a gun. And they have to expect the worst. These officers have to expect the worst. Now, because he's the lead, there's going to be an open road up ahead. So this might be an opportunity to do a pit maneuver. I'm looking out the window here, and it does appear that uh, there is no other vehicles up it for at least a block. So let's see if he tries to get up on him and spin him out here and put this pursuit to an end, this dangerous high-speed pursuit that has been going on for 45 minutes. He's coming up on the back side of him here. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing yet. Heading westbound on Carson Street towards Long Beach Airport. Let's oh, there see, he here goes. he comes, he's coming there up he on goes. the side. Here he goes, yep, come on, spin him out. There he goes, he got him. Yeah, let's, let's end this maneuver. right now. Uh, I saw that coming, I saw the open road, and, but he's now he's facing the right way. Block him in, this guy's gonna block he's gonna him get out right out. Looks now. like his door is opening. It looks like his door is open, and this could turn into a foot bail now. Many officers, he's blocked in there. Guns drawn. A uh, dangerous situation, you don't know what you're dealing with, obviously. A man, and it looks like they're going to take him into custody here. Sorry for the trees here. We'll get around this and get a better view. But thankfully, this suspect has been neutralized, possibly a double robbery suspect that started in San Pedro, ending here on Carson Street near the Long Beach Airport in Long Beach. And those officers saw that opportunity. I saw it from above because he was the lead vehicle coming out of that light, just like you know it, Bob and Marla, when you're coming uh, up on a stoplight and you're that first car in line, you know straight ahead, there isn't gonna be much traffic because traffic has been held. So they had that, that space, that open opportunity and those officers took it. They got up right behind him, a successful pit maneuver, a successful end of this pursuit. We did not see any real dangerous looking collisions. We didn't see anybody injured from our vantage point. That might not be the case. But we do know, solo occupant, described as a male Hispanic on the scanners from up here, being taken into custody on Carson Street in Long Beach. Wanted for two armed robberies, possibly armed with a knife. A good job by LAPD for taking advantage of that moment there and working that pit maneuver successfully. And that's despite having backed off at least two times because this pursuit just got that dangerous within the 45 minutes that it was underway again beginning 45 minutes ago or so in the san pedro area as we see uh, lapd officers get down and officially cuff this suspect and then load him into the uh, black and white there uh, a solid pit maneuver by that officer in that lapd unit uh, and uh, 
certainly they, it, this pursuit got into really dangerous territory when it got off the freeway and the 91 freeway and onto surface streets, but all coming to an end there in uh, the northern part of Long Beach, very close to the Long Beach Airport on Carson Street. Um, we saw some very dangerous maneuvers there by the suspect, the armed robbery suspect. And those are, in those are all LAPD units down below there, Bob and Marlon. Hmm. So they, they held the lead on the pursuit. That's where the uh, alleged uh, armed robberies uh, occurred. Unclear if anybody uh, anybody was injured in those robberies, uh, but we heard possibly up to two. And uh, the suspect had a knife in his possession when he uh, when he uh, took uh, possession of something. Well, we don't know what, where the location was or how that went down, but we'll definitely uh, look into that and have a follow up on that. All right, Rick, uh, looks like this is getting wrapped up, uh, thankfully. And thank you for your reporting in Skyfox. And of course, we will have a, a full wrap up of this uh, tonight on the Fox 11 News at five o'clock. In the meantime, we will take a short break and. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that could have just been. Went well, out on Carson Street? I mean, that was, I thought, I, that truck, that white truck? Are you kidding me? So glad they got that guy, man. What's this guy doing? Maybe we can still get that fade. That 101 was just awful in the valley when we pro crossed over it. What's, yeah, this guy's being told not to. He was like recording or something. <coughs> I can't. Hey, Andrew, we're trying to get the license plate. I don't know, it's real difficult though, because we have to be up high above the airship. Skyfox to assignment desk. Skyfox to assignment desk. Hey, do you want the uh, license plate? Uh, well, this is the best we can do. I can't read. I can't, I can't read it, Andrew. You're going to have to look at your monitor. We can't read it from up here. <laughs> 